was anything but business as usual at Oakwood Collegiate today. Here's a live look just hours after students and staff learned of a chilling threat of violence against them. I'm Farah Nasser. Well, thank you for joining us. A 17-year-old man is out on bail tonight after being arrested and charged with uttering threats of bodily harm. Everyone's being told to remain calm, but some are finding that very difficult. Here's Mark McAllister tonight. To watch the students at Oakwood Collegiate come and go from outside the school, you might think it's just another ordinary day. Inside these halls, though, there's a feeling of uneasiness. Everyone's probably afraid. They, I guess they don't really understand what's fully going on. At the, we're all young, right? So probably haven't experienced anything like this before. A day after a 17-year-old boy was charged in an alleged plan to attack the school, a number of social workers and a psychologist were on hand along with the principal to deal with the emotion. A situation that uh, certainly is uh, you know, concerning in, in terms of uh, the threat that uh, uh, was, uh, 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 p the potential threat that was reported and that uh, we wanted to make sure that they hear from, I wanted to make sure that they hear from me as a principal. The boy was arrested after Toronto police received a tip about an online threat against the school, then traced it back to a Toronto District School Board computer. After searching the boy's home, they found a number of weapons, including a machete, hatchet, and swords. Many people are shocked to hear what is going on. Um, I'm not sure what the intention of why uh, he wants, why the, this individual wanted to do that. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> the threat comes less than a week after this PSA was released by parents who lost children in the Sandy Hook massacre four years ago trying to help others flag potential risks of violence. Police here and school officials, though, say they need help. In order for us to look at everything that could possibly be online, for the potential of threats or concerns for public safety, it would just be too monumental a task to take on. Social media being what it is, you can't be on top of everything all the time, but there is a lot of communication back and forth between kids and teachers, kids and school administration. Students at Oakwood Collegiate will be watching social media closer now in light of the real life threat they didn't even know they faced. Now it's important to note that the initial tip came from the U.S. and further to what Toronto police have had to say, that's what it takes. Unfortunately, they can't proactively seek out these sorts of things and as a result, it takes some assistance from the public. Back to you. Mark McAllister reporting for us. Thank you. In Toronto, a pretty unsettling day for students of Oakwood Collegiate. They headed back to class for the first time after learning a teen has been accused of planning an attack on their school. Mark McAllister spent the day at the school. He joins us live. So, Mark, how did students handle this news? Uh, there was a lot of confusion, for A lot of students not quite sure what to make of what has happened here over the last day or so. Many concerned and scared as a result of something like this uh, happening so close to home. You see these sorts of things happening elsewhere, but when it's happening in your own backyard and to your school specifically, it's scary. That's why there were counselors, psychologists on hand to help those students and staff with processing what's happened. Uh, not much more info today other than what we found out yesterday. A 17-year-old was charged after threatening to attack the school. The police then raided his home and found all sorts of potential weapons. The tip online actually came from the U.S. That led Toronto police to follow the lead, trace it back to a school board computer and the user himself. Uh, today, we'll give you some insight. Here's what the principal had to say in one of the students as well. I spoke to the students about the situation and uh, how they're feeling because the, uh, like a parent in a, in a school, the kids in the building matter. They are my, my, my students. They are. I want to make sure that they feel safe. I hope that if anyone, um, anyone feels like they need help, they see a social worker or if they feel like, you know, like um, they want to cause harm to individuals, they should go and seek help. While some of that discussion was certainly based on emotion and trying to help people through this, there are some lessons to be learned here as well. That will be uh, coming in the days to come about keeping an eye out and making sure that people are aware of what's going on, not only in the halls around them, but what's happening on social media. If you see anything, flag it and let officials and authorities know. Farah. Okay, thanks so much for that, Mark.